Welcome in. This is Love Goddess Tarot. My name is Maureen and today's pick a card love reading is going to look at your next relationship, both you and them. Okay, so I have four piles to choose from today. We're going to look at your tarot cards, um, which I've pulled already, and I'm going to also do an oracle reading for you, as well as channeled messages, initials, and charms. So we're going to get lots of information about your next relationship. So all you have to do is sit back, relax. You can pause the video if you want and see which pile you're drawn to, or you can listen to as many as you'd like. Totally up to you. There are no rules, okay? So let's get a closer look at each one of the cards for you. Group number one, you have the King of Cups. Group number two, King of Wands. Sorry about my nails, guys. I definitely need a manicure. Group number three, King of Pentacles. And group number four, King of Swords. One, two, three, four. Timestamps are below if you want to skip ahead. Group number one, you pick the Rose Quartz and the King of Cups. So there he is. The King of Cups is traditionally... Um, a water sign male energy, which would be Pisces, Scorpio, Cancer. Um, it's generally someone who's really in touch with their emotions, in touch with their feelings, um, someone who's sensitive and caring um, and very nurturing. And I love this king because you can see he's sitting on the rock and he's got his one foot in the water, one foot on the rock. Um, and he's just kind of chilling there. And I love this. And there's that full moon. Um, which is really beautiful. And he's got his cup that he's like giving. And so it's like he's offering you his loves, his emotions. He's, you know, he's not holding back. Um, but he's also, you know, he's got one foot on the rock. So he is somebody that is, um, you know, he's a king. So he's got his act together. And <laughs> he's like someone who's a little more mature um, and, um, you know, knows knows what he wants and he knows what he's looking for. Okay, so let's look at your next relationship, both you and them. First, we're going to start with you. So we have the Six of Swords. Oh, beautiful. The Ten of Cups, which I love. That's so nice with that. And the Page of Cups. Okay, beautiful. So um, now let's look at him. We have the Devil reversed. We have Temperance. And we have the Four of Cups. Okay, lots of water energy here between the two of you. Um, and what I'm really drawn to is that temperance card because of this king of cups. And I was noticing that he had one foot on the stone. And I feel like this person is um, very sensitive. And that water sign energy for sure is coming through. Um, Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces. Um, for both of you, really. Um, but I see you as both really, really um, sensitive, connected, empathetic people. Um, now, what's interesting is with that temperance card, that's all about being balanced. That's all about, um, you know, not moving too quickly and being really a little bit cautious. And um, I feel like with this uh, King of Cups in particular, I'm, I was really drawn to his one foot on the rock, and I'm really getting a message of someone who is takes their time, is cautious, okay? And what I see here with the devil reversed is that maybe in the past he was involved in a toxic relationship or a relationship that was unhealthy. Um, maybe there were boundary issues. Maybe there was, a, you know, an addiction or some, some unhealthy behavior that this King of Cups has learned how to navigate and is now much more cautious, much more careful when it comes to love, okay? Um, and I do see them as somebody who's very romantic somebody who's very thoughtful, um, and someone who's really going to connect with you in a really beautiful, emotional way. Like, you just get each other, okay? When I look at you, um, I see you leaving a difficult situation. So I think both of you have that in common. You have that... Um, past experience or past relationship or just difficulty in life, something, it doesn't have to be in love, but it just feels like you've left recently 
behind something that was painful and you're moving towards a happier time. Um, and with that page of cups, I see you as very open and wanting to give your heart to this person. Um, and ultimately, it went like this actually, um, and, and wanting a family and having supportive family and maybe even having children someday or maybe you have children. If you are older and um, already have a family, it's very important to you. It's very nurturing, very, very like mothering, very like kind energy is coming through for you. Um, and I think that this person is going to really match you in that way. Um, as I said, because they have been through something, you both, it's interesting because you both got difficult cards kind of in the past, you with the six of swords and him with the devil card reversed. Um, you then have that 10 of cups, which is all about like just emotional connection and family and happily ever after, um, him with the temperance, a little bit more cautious. And then the four of cups and page of cups. It's like you two are really getting each other. Um, and I do feel like it's you that's going to have to be a little bit more um, the person that initiates or the person that starts things, okay, because of that page in your um, in your reading. So I feel like they need that little nudge because they have that little hesitancy. They will have that um, that little reserved behavior, that little caution around their heart, okay, because of the past stuff and I see you as moving through it a little better and a little easier than they have if that makes sense okay let's pull a color oracle to get a sense of how this person is feeling right now emotionally about love okay illumination they are feeling like they've seen the light okay they've gotten past that devil that devil reversed or whatever difficult they have been um and i do feel like they're in a they're at a place right now where they really see things clearly and this is a very positive card i feel like they are um, very open to this relationship and open to meeting someone um, and as far as you you're bringing consciousness, yes. Um, that's what I was saying, you guys, that I really felt like you were the person that handles, has handled love or has handled difficulties with relationships um, a little bit easier than this person, okay? Um, but you really light, it's so queer, but like there's this song, you light up my life. I feel like that is what's coming through. You're really lighting up this person's life. They see you as like the sun. They see you as this bright, bright, um, person on what, you know, like what's been a little bit of a difficult journey and you are the wise one. You're the one that understands how to like move the relationship forward. I am interested because of the three circles, um, and it's getting bigger as it goes down. So that's what I think. I think that you're going to be the person that kind of like opens the door for them. This also looks like a door for me. Um, and really being able to express themselves and to maybe even do something really big. I feel like you're going to be very supportive with them in terms of like work or school or whatever they're interested in. You are someone that's going to bring something really important to it. Um, let's pull a earth card and see what messages we need about the relationship. Okay, we have full moon completion. Oh, beautiful. And lotus flower unfoldment. I love this. Um, I'm definitely getting that this full moon energy is um, for the person, for the king of cups. I'm feeling like they have like I said, with the illumination card, they've come, they've, something has become, um, clear to them. They're in the process of really seeing things clearly. And I feel like when, um, it, around full moon times could be a time when you guys connect, when you meet. Okay. So keep an eye on that in the calendar. Um, and for you, you got, re you're represented by the lotus flower, this beautiful, beautiful, um, you know, this, this beauty, um, Lotus grows at, you know, in the mud, you'll see them and they come out in this beautiful, beautiful flower. Um, and with the unfoldment, I feel like it's like you're coming into your own. You're at a phase in your life where you're starting to 
blossom and really shine and really show the world who you are. Um, and this person is really going to recognize that in you and see you as this beautiful, beautiful flower. That also lotus could be an important, um, you know, could be a tattoo, it could be a painting, it could be something that you love um, or that you have uh, around you right now. So if that's you, please write below. I'd love to hear it. Um, I'm going to pull an Aphrodite card. These are my cards and they are for sale. The link is below. Aphrodite is the love goddess, and obviously I am the love goddess, so here we are. Um, let's see what messages of love Aphrodite has about your relationship. Okay, you've got Paris, Aphrodite's hero. Oh, I love Paris. Winner, prize, ring, on blast, number 39. You will win the prize. Oh my gosh, I love it. And... Harmonia, Aphrodite's daughter, wedding, harmony, elope, excitement, number 21. This relationship is serious. Okay, so we are dealing with a serious relationship. We have the name Paris there. Um, Paris chose Aphrodite as the most beautiful. Um, she was the winner. She, um, you know, she got all the <laughs> publicity. She was on blast. Um, and you also got the wedding and elopement and excitement and um, it's wild because I just feel that this could be a really, really beautiful long-term relationship. Um, as I said, with just this person seeing you as the lotus flower, seeing you as the most beautiful, um, a ring could also be involved, which would be the engagement. Um, and eloping even is a possibility, but it's, it's that this relationship will has potential to become very serious and the number 21 and 39 are also important for you okay guys let's pull a romance angel we're on a roll here Ooh, maybe we'll elope to paris oh my gosh i got goosebumps somebody's gonna do that so let me know you guys okay true love. This is the romance of a lifetime. Okay. I love it. You guys, this is very positive. This King of Cups person, um, is, is something special for you. Definitely beautiful energy between the two of you. And it is true love. Let's see any, if there are blocks to this relationship. Okay. There we go. Okay, so we have imagination and fear. Um, interesting because this person could be very creative, and I was picking up on that. Um, I love how this card is really very similar to the King of Cups. Like, look at the the like amulet or necklace he has on there, um, and that green that he's wearing around here. It's like, wow, that's <laughs> that is really really connected. Um, I embrace and nourish the creative aspect of my mind. So um, I think this message for the King of Cups is that they have to really let themselves go and imagine the best possibilities. This probably is a creative person and the blocks that they're having are not believing in themselves. But with that illumination card and the consciousness for you, I feel like that's part of what you bring to the relationship is that you really help this person believe in themselves. Um, and we got fear. I realized that I am testing my resolve to live in the energy of love. You know, as I said, you had that six of swords. You have had to leave something behind or um, have been through some rough waters. So so part of the block for you is letting go of the fear, okay, um, because this is true love and um, this energy is really positive, but both of you started with some difficulties, so you have to kind of let go and have faith is the message there. Okay, finally, I'm going to pull an animal spirit for you and for them, so let's start with them. They got wolf spirit, turn knowledge into wisdom. Wow, 67, and those beautiful eyes. 
Okay, so those are the eyes you could be meeting. Um, <clears throat> now, wolves can run in packs or they can be a lone wolf, okay? Um, and so what I felt for, what I felt about this person is that lone wolf spirit, somebody who is used to being on their own, somebody who's been hurt and sort of withdrawn, um, but who's very powerful, okay? And wolves could be your spirit um, guide, their spirit guide, um, something connected to the name wolf. Um, but... Yeah, look at this, someone who has a dog, somebody who's surrounded by um, pets, but also um, it's those in the intensity of those eyes. I love that. Okay, and you have, ooh, chameleon spirit. I love it. Act as if, number 14. Oh my God, beautiful. And again, with these colors, I'm loving, loving the purples and greens that are going on here, you guys. Um, and green is the love, it's the heart chakra. Um, this is really, this is really making me think that, um, that this is like part of that transformation that you've been through, part of leaving that, that six of swords that we started the reading with. And it's like, um, you've got to let that part of yourself go and really transform into the new you. And it's not about not being your true self. Your true self is always changing and adapting. Um, and I think that's what this is all about for you. Okay, wow, those are beautiful messages. Um, now let me do some channeled information for you about this person. First, we'll start with the hair color for number one. Okay, so you have blonde hair. How, wow, how cool, look. It looks like the, the King of Cups. He has blondish hair. It's like a sandy brown hair, blondish hair. Um, let's see what other info we can get. Okay, green eyes, beautiful. And let's get a channeled message. From this person if they could speak to you right now this is like soul to soul or something that they will want to tell you number one I miss you Wow okay so at a soul level um, they were definitely feeling the loss they're feeling like they know something's missing um, if you haven't met yet okay and if you have met um, that's a message letting them know letting you know that they are really missing you we'll do one more it will happen soon. Okay, beautiful. So the timing is um, at play here, divine timing, and it will happen soon. Okay, I'm going to roll the astro dice and see what other astrological zodiac signs we get that are important for you, number one. Okay, you've got Sag energy. We have Libra. And Libra twice. Okay, so you got that Libra energy twice. With that Six of Swords starting, that could be the air sign. That could be you. Um, Libra, Sun, Moon, Rising. And with the Sag energy, I'm picking up on some foreign um, connection. Either you or the person. Okay, now let's pull some initials and letters. Number one. Okay. Wow, that's kind of a big bunch. That's what wanted to come out, so there we go. Okay, so we have H, D, M, M, S, P, R, three M's, L, I, F, T, lift, G, life, E, F. Okay, so you can pause the video. Um, I saw life right there. I'm not really great at seeing them right away, but you guys can, um, you guys come up with such good things, okay? But we do have three M's um, and the Libra. So that's, that's really me up pretty strong there, you guys. Okay, now I'm going to pull some charms for you. So you might want to turn the volume down if you don't like the sound, because it can be a little loud, um, but a lot of you really like it, so turn it up. Okay, here we go.
Okay, so right away I see Capricorn, the goat right there. Um, we also have the Las Vegas um, coin, which is all about taking a risk, taking a gamble. Um, but it also could be a Las Vegas connection, just a lucky connection, someone who's very, very lucky. Um, you do have the I love you forever, the infinity symbol, which for me is a connection to soulmate energy or twin flame energy. Um, you have the old 90s CD player, which um, can be something like from childhood, something from um, the past, somebody from um, you know, when you were younger, someone you may know from the past. Oh, look, you both have these. Okay. Um, so these always to me are about someone who works really hard in a very, um, precise way. It's also could be the artist. Maybe both of you have those abilities or do that kind of work. Um, some, you know, attention to detail, really, um, focusing, um, but I'm also drawn to the fact that we got two of them. So it's like you guys are really, really well matched. Um, and that could go back to that twin flame energy. Um, you have the anchor, which can be about wanting to anchor to someone. It could be a boat or water reference, um, a tattoo. You also have the star, which I love to see because... Um, it's all about healing with that star card in tarot, but also the sign Aquarius. Um, and, you know, you've got a couple, you have two kind of references to um, movement or coming home. You have the Six of Swords, which you started with, and you have the Sea Turtle, which is all about coming back to where you were born. So for some of you, I feel like you're going to meet this person where you were born or, you know, back where you used to live. Um, and you have the heart. So it's like a true love, which you got the true love card, a very romantic relationship. Okay, guys, that's your reading for today. I hope you enjoyed it. Please be sure to click subscribe if you haven't yet. It's free, it's easy, and it really, really helps. Don't forget to click the like. That helps so much. Thank you, thank you to all of you that always like and comment. And um, those of you that are subscribing already, I love you guys. Thanks so much. And don't forget to write your love question below. I just picked last month's winner, V. Um, I think she sent me her name, and it's Vicky. Um, congratulations again. Um, so you want to be sure to write your love question so I can enter you for next month giveaway. Okay, guys, I'll talk to you soon. Have a great rest of your day. Bye. Hey, number two, you picked the tiger's eye and the beautiful lion card, the king of wands. And the king of wands is generally a male fire sign, Aries, Sag, Leo energy, someone who's fiery, somebody who's passionate, um, somebody who's very, very warm. You know, whenever we think of fire signs, we think of like their warmth, their generosity, um, their ambition, their drive, like all the things that really make you move and want to do things. So let's see what information we can get about your next relationship. First, we're gonna start with you. Oh, you get the lover's card, beautiful. And the 10 of pentacles and the nine of swords reversed. Okay, and for them, um, the king of wands got the three of cups, the ace of cups, beautiful. And the six of wands, ooh, I love it. Okay, guys, um, so, what I'm seeing here, um, just to start off with for both of you, um, you started with the lover's card, which is beautiful, meaning that you are going to find this soulmate, this true love, this relationship will really connect and last for quite a while. Um, and I do think there's a connection possibly to your friends, cousins, siblings, sisters, um, in order of the way that you guys connect, the way that you meet. Um, but we'll look a little bit more at that later. Um, so first, let me look at you. Okay, so what I'm seeing for you is that um, you're really letting go of some disappointments and some difficulties, okay? Um, with the Nine of Swords, it's kind of that anxiety that up at night, not able to sleep, um, you know, mental stuff that's really getting you down. Um, but I see you as letting go of a lot, letting go of a lot. And um, some of it may have been connected to money, 
to family, to inheritance, to um, lack of support from family um, when it came to love or just in general, okay? Um, but what I see with this person coming in for you is that um, they are going to really bring you the love that you've been looking for, like the emotional connection. This is a beautiful, when you get the Ace of Cups, when someone is really bringing you love and an open heart, this is the card you want to get. Um, and I'm very drawn to the dragonfly and the lotus here, um, and also the phases of the moon. Um, and I feel like this person is very close to um, to you and possibly in your environment, okay? Like meaning they live in the neighborhood, somewhere in the same town, somewhere close by, okay? Um, and with that six of wands, this is somebody who is very successful and as I said, very outgoing and they may even own their own business. But I feel like you, again, you could meet because of a party, a, a wedding, of like a celebration out with the girls. There's some connection between you guys, meeting um, and friends or family, okay? Like just being out together um, with friends and family. But I think for you, this person is really going to help you overcome any insecurities you had or any anxiety you had about love. This person's going to really show you the like the positive, like, is going to lift you up, is going to, this person is, like, super, super um, glass half full. This is, like, someone who's totally optimistic, who believes in life, and who's very successful, okay? Um, and I do think, like, six, six to nine months, and this person um, should be in your life, okay? Um, let's get some more information about how you both are feeling about this relationship when you meet. How does this person, so we're gonna start with the King of Wands. How does the King of Wands feel about you? Abundance, look at that. See, with that Six of Wands, this is somebody who's just like generous and excited and feels super positive. Um, this is how they feel about you. They feel like they can do anything because you guys are together. They think that you have it all. They are super, super attracted to you. And you are bringing cleanse. Okay, so for you, this energy is all about healing and cleansing an old wound, which is so true because you have such confirmation of your cards. We got the Nine of Swords and the Ten of Pentacles, both reversed. Um, so this is like resetting. I'm just thinking about like a washing machine. <laughs> it's like you're putting everything in dirty and it's going to come out clean. And this person is like that that person that's just going to make it all better. And I don't want to say that in like a simplistic way, but I feel like you have done a lot of work. You are in, like at a strong point. They see you as that strong person. And this relationship is just going to help you clear away all of that dirt to get to the real you. Okay, I don't know why I'm using the washing machine, probably because I need to do laundry, um, probably because I'm doing laundry. It's what's popping in, so, <laughs> okay, there we go. Um, let's get some more info, you guys, about this relationship. Okay, ooh, cave sanctuary. I'm gonna pull this one, and DNA, yeah. This is this is definitely the DNA card is is bringing up for me that connection the family because you do have that like sort of disappointment but also you have that three of cups from him um, and I feel like this person offers you sanctuary this person is the person that is going to make you feel safe um, there is a karmic relationship here I feel like you guys have been together in the past I would also watch for seeing snakes um, as one of the signs that you or he is making a big transition and you're going to come together soon okay um, that could be one of the symbols and signs that the person is coming Okay, these are my cards, the Aphrodite Love Oracle. They're for sale. The link is below. Let's see what Aphrodite has to say about your relationship, number two. 
Okay, you've got pomegranate, Aphrodite's fruit, creativity, ruby, seeds, legacy. Number 47, you're about to give birth to something. Oh my gosh, you guys. Um, and that's what I was feeling, like this, this energy of coming together, the Ace of Cups, you know, um, giving birth to something. You could be a creative person who's literally um, about to launch something. And the King of Wands, you could meet the King of Wands through that project, okay? Um, Cupid, Aphrodite's son, affection, protector, love messages, arrows, number 48, love is coming from far away. Um, that's really interesting because I feel like, I felt like this person was in your environment. Let's get one more. Honey, sweetness, innocent, natural, childhood, number 16, this person. Okay, so the close by, thank you for that confirmation. The, the feeling that I had that they were close by with that three of cups, the neighborhood, um, childhood. So the connection is from the past, from childhood. Um, this is somebody that you either knew from when you were you know, younger, in your younger days. Um, they may be moving closer to you. Um, and the arrow thing is also with the king of wands. I love that. That's bringing up that Sag. You know, Sag is Sagittarius is the sign of the archer. Um, and so it's like that Sag energy is coming through for this person too, you guys. Okay. Oh, I love that. And very protective. This person is very protective. Okay. Now let's get a romance angel about your relationship going forward engagement. Your love life is, is sending to a higher level of commitment. Okay. So that really goes along with your other love goddess messages. This is a serious relationship and could for many of you end in an engagement. Okay. Um, let's see what uh, any blocks or messages or information we need about this relationship. Success. I know that there is no greater goal than to love. And you got adversity. I accept that challenges are the best way to learn. Okay. You know, it's interesting because you did have the Six of Wands, which is the success card. So that's total confirmation here um, that this person, as I said, is very successful. Um, this is somebody that I think owns their own business or is, you know, at least no matter what they do, even if they're just in school, um, just extremely successful at everything they do. Um, and no matter what the challenges are, um, that, that this person is very, very confident and is willing to overcome them. So I think that even if you have a little bit of hesitancy, this person is going to, um, is just going to make sure that it works. And you know, what's interesting. I'm loving, I'm loving how these cards are really lining up, um, I did in number one as well as confirmation that um, we're getting the messages just for you, okay? Um, and these are those earthy, um, that, that those, the colors of the lion of the King of Wands, which is what I wanted. Um, wow, that's beautiful. So I'm feeling like the eyes could also be that greenish brown color for this person, but we'll get more info when I get the channeled messages. Okay, let's get an animal spirit for each of you. First for the King of Wands. Elephant Spirit, learn from the past, number 25. I love that card. And for you, Lizard Spirit, dream the world into being, number 38. Okay. Um, so this is fabulous, you guys. I love this for dreaming for you since you've got the Nine of Swords reversed. It's like you're letting go of some of that anxiety um, and that fear and moving towards dreaming your, your dreams into reality. And maybe that um, you do a lot of your work and your manifestation in the dream world, okay? Um, and for the King of Wands, this is somebody who is... Um, who I feel is very connected to their family, um, possibly from a powerful family, a tribe of people that are very, very close. And I think that's what they're giving to you. That's what you were missing. You're missing that closeness and support with that 10 of pentacles reversed. Um, but this person is bringing in a group to surround you and protect you. 
um, like elephants do, how they're all together. And it's very matriarchal. It's, um, the women are very powerful in the um, elephant world. So I feel like this person is going to be so respectful of you and of your um, power and strength, which is beautiful. Okay, guys, let's get some channel info about this person. Brown eyes, there you go. That's what I was feeling. Let's see, what color hair? Black hair, okay, looks a lot like that king. Um, let's get a message for you. These are messages, if this person could talk to you right now or something that they will feel for you and want to tell you soul to soul. Okay, I don't want to be rejected. Ooh, okay, so that's good to know. I mean, the King of Wands is a very um, proud person. You see him here with his lion. This could be a Leo. This is somebody who has an ego, who's, you know, got some wants to be respected, wants to feel loved. They don't want to be rejected. Okay. And I'm focused on making things right. Ooh, okay. So for those of you that have already met or know this person from the past, um, that is a message for you for sure. Okay, let's roll the Astro Dice and see what other signs, zodiac signs we get. Info we might need. Okay, you've got Pisces. Taurus. And Pisces. Okay, so you got Pisces twice. Um, and now let me get you, where are my initials? Here we go. We're gonna pull you some letters. And then I'm going to do the charm. So if you want to turn the volume down, if you don't like the noise, you might want to do that now. Let's see what letters we got. Okay, so we have A, C, C, I, B, P, G, G, H, K, D, I, and D. Okay, so you can take a moment, pause the video, see what you can come up with there. And now let's get you some charms. Right off the bat, I see we have the Leo charm. This is a kitty cat. I love this with the King of Wands. Um, that's giving me that Leo energy, but also that money energy, that success with the pearl and the diamond, um, and also just a playfulness. Um, but also someone could like cats. He is, you know, pictured here with the big lion, so um, that could be it. We have the beautiful starfish, um, which is all about healing, regeneration, regrowing. Um, and the number five is there. Wow, you've got another message about believing in love. I think that that's part of what you need to hear today. Um, and the dreams, dream your world into being. You've got the dream message, and now you have confirmation with the dream catcher. And you have the I love you forever, the soulmate energy, the long-term love, the long-term relationship. And it could also be, as I said, somebody from the past or someone from your childhood who's had feelings for you for quite a while. Okay, guys, those are your messages. I hope you enjoyed your reading today. Don't forget to click subscribe if you haven't. It's free. It's easy. Um, and please click the like button below. That helps so much. Don't forget to write your comments below and write a love question if you have one after um, you subscribe because I do one free reading for a subscriber every month, okay? And you have to be, you have to write a question in order to get <laughs> entered. Um, I just chose last month, it was Vicki. Um, congratulations to her. And um, 
be sure to enter so that you can win next month. Okay, guys, I've got lots of great stuff coming up this week. I hope you'll keep watching. I'm sending you so much love, and I'll talk to you soon. Bye, guys. Number three, you pick the beautiful green heart and the king of pentacles. Now, the king of pentacles is generally representing a male Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn, earth sign person who is extremely good with material things, who, you know, loves beautiful food and has like a great car and like all of the material possessions. Um, but what I love about this particular King of Pentacles, he's like one of my favorite in all my decks, is I, I just feel this warmth from him. I don't just feel this like cold person sitting counting their money. I feel like this warmth um, coming through. I love how the tree is like his, you know, his throne, um, but he's very like accessible and he looks like he's moving and I love that green velvet, that warm looking um, the clothes that he's wearing. I just think it's, it's just, this is a really, really cool King of Pentacles and I love this one. Um, but let's look at your next relationship. First, we'll start with you and then them and we'll get lots of information. Okay, so we have the Two of Pentacles, the Seven of Cups, and the Four of Pentacles. Okay, so we're getting a lot of Earth Sign vibe from you too. Um, we have the Tower for him. And the Ace of Pentacles, lots of Earth Sign energy and Pentacle energy. And the Six of Pentacles, okay, wow, tons of Earth Sign energy. Here we go, okay. You guys seem really beautifully matched, okay, because there is so much Earth between you. Whether you're a Virgo, Capricorn, Taurus, or have Moon, Rising, Venus, um, in one of those those in one of those planets um, or signs, it's like there's just a real beautiful um, relationship. And I definitely feel that you guys could meet through work, okay? Um, but let's get started first with you. So what I see with you is... Um, someone who like maybe you've been juggling things whether it's like work and love um one or the other doing one more than the other or you've got a lot of family responsibilities or financial responsibilities and you're like constantly trying to keep it all going right um or it can also actually mean with the two of pentacles here that maybe you have been juggling two people or like going back and forth about a relationship or back and forth about a person that you've been dating so there's lots of possibilities here but I do think that you were kind of confused in the past or maybe um, not sure what was real and what wasn't real this can also just be like you were dating online and just talking to a lot of different people and you're not sure is this person for real or not like they're telling me all these things but is it real um, but I feel like you're letting go of that and getting a lot more clear um, financial security and someone who is stable is really really important to you with that four of pentacles um, I feel like you've worked hard Hard to get what you have and you want somebody who is as hardworking and <clears throat> who shares your values okay who wants the same things in life who cares about the same things in life um, and I think that the person coming in this king of Pentacles really is that person for you um, now what's going on with him well um, we start with the tower moment, which is always something came out of nowhere and really knocked this person for a loop, okay? This is in the past. Um, um, and it could be they had, you know, some sort of setback, some sort of loss, something they didn't see coming. Um, the good news is where they are right now is they have definitely been given um, some sort of financial opportunity or some sort of gift, um, and so they're doing they're they're doing well now and they're back on their feet to the point where they're actually helping and sharing with others this is someone who is very very generous okay someone who's been through some hardship maybe even grew up without money um, but then through their own gifts and talents or through a gift from someone else an inheritance something like that was able to really make a lot of it um, was make the most of it but they used it to help others and they're very very generous so I see them as being really generous with you as well and I see that you both share these hard work and like working hard and traditional values um, but this is like a really good match for you guys okay um, let's get some more details from the oracle cards let's see 
what messages we can get about how is this person feeling about you. Okay, well, before I can even get the question out, the card dropped out. Okay, they got faith. Okay, so they have a lot of faith in you. They also have a lot of faith in the relationship. There's a lot of trust here. There's a lot of like, um, you know what? Just feeling like I know this is going to work. Um, and for you, it's disruption. Wow. Okay. So something about this person is going to kind of um, disrupt your little flow. Okay. <laughs> and in a good way. So I feel like you are possibly a fixed sign, maybe a Taurus. Um, you know, that Taurus, Scorpio, Aquarius, Leo energy, but I'm leaning towards Taurus energy, or just someone that doesn't like things to change really quickly. Um, and when you meet this person, I feel like they're going to, you know, they're going to shake you up a little bit, but totally in a positive way. Okay. Um, let's see how you guys might meet. We'll look at the earth cards here. But definitely with all of these pentacle energy, it's feeling like um, through work is a really a very strong possibility for this person. Okay. Ooh, dragonfly emergence. I love this and I love her. I love her beautiful eyes and her hair. Um, this is about really coming into your own, um, really coming out and showing who you are. Look at that. Oh my gosh, you guys, you've got tree and grounding with the king of pentacles and all of this pentacle energy. Um, yeah, this is something that could be very, very um, long term, something that you, someone you set roots with, someone who you grow something with, whether it's a family, whether it's a business, something that you do together that's very, very productive. Um, there's all of this, both of these are so earth energy. I love it. All of um, the cards today have really been confirming my choices. Um, we've got all the green and brown in here that you could possibly have. I love it. Um, so yeah, very strong earth energy from this person and from both of you. Both of you feeling very grounded. Oh, I love that if you take a look, let me pull this closer. You see the dragonfly. And that can also be a symbol for you. Um, you might be someone that sees dragonflies or has them or a tattoo. Um, could be something that's important to you as well. Okay, these are my cards, the Aphrodite Love Oracle. Let's see what Aphrodite says and wants you to know about your relationship. Ooh, okay, that one wants to come out. Bees, oh yay! Aphrodite's Guide, hardworking, community, magic, team player. Number 29, you will work together. Okay. <laughs> oh my god i'm telling you these cards are amazing i do i know i'm biased because they're mine oops i thought my phone was off hold on now it's off sorry about that um how amazing is bees okay so part of a community a hive you've got the tree and dragonfly and all of this earth energy um the community meeting and like maybe you guys work together on a community project especially with that six of pentacles energy where this person is so generous um that's a way that you could meet that team player maybe you work together um at on a team at work um and number 29 this is a maze okay let's pull one more friday aphrodite's day relax date night dancing bar number 40 you'll have the best first date oh my gosh i love it you guys um so what happens on Friday after a hard week of work happy hour okay i'm definitely getting a vibe here you guys Let's do a romance angel for you. Let's get some information from the romance angels about your relationship. What do we need to know? Number three. I love it. Past life relationship. You have known each other before. Okay, so we are dealing with a past life relationship, you guys. Um, so there's going to be that that real like connection that real like when you meet someone and you think I just feel like I know you so well already even though we don't know each other and that's what it's going to feel like okay let's get a soul message about any potential blocks or anything that we need to know going forward okay in order for this relationship to work service I feel good when I help others oh my gosh you guys look at the green 
I am literally blown away today. I am on fire. <laughs> Look at this. Look at this. Wow. Okay, total confirmation um, and confirmation about what I was saying about helping others, being of service, that Six of Pentacles. This is someone who's very, very generous. Um, and you've got the B message of hardworking community team player working together, um, being of service. Wow, that is incredible. I love that. And blame. I accept responsibility for my well-being. So that's the message for you, that you have to accept responsibility for your well-being. Um, and look at that, same color. Um, and so that's a block. That's a potential. That's something that could trip you up. So you want to take that message in and know that... Um, that, that you need to receive that, okay? Um, so that's your message. Now, let's get an animal spirit for each of you. Let's start with the other person, the King of Pentacles. What are we getting for the King of Pentacles? We're getting whale spirit, trust the great mystery. Yeah, this person feels larger than life. They feel like somebody who's very powerful, very strong, and also big, like tall, big, stocky. Um, and you got frog spirit, clear out the clutter, number 28. I love it. Frogs are all about, and look at this green. Oh my gosh, the frog. Um, frogs are all about um, leaping ahead, you know, making a transformation, um, really having a big change in your life. And I feel like that's where you're at. And I feel like for this relationship, that's where it's going to take you. It's going to like take you to the next level, if that makes sense. Um, okay, let me set these back. And now I'm going to pull you some channeled messages about this person. The King of Pentacles, please. What information can we get? Okay, we have blue eyes right under that whale there. And black hair. Oops, there's a couple together here. Wait a minute. We've got more than one. Okay, both black. Okay, and now I'm going to pull you. These are soul-to-soul -soul messages. This is what the person would like to tell you if they could, if you haven't met yet, or just your soul's connecting. Soul met to soul. The timing matters to me. Okay, wow. So that is that karmic timing and the timing for this person. I need to grow up. Wow. Okay. So this person is acknowledging that they need to get more mature, at least at a soul level. They know this um, in order to be able to be there to be the person that you need them to be. Okay. Let's roll the astro dice and see what other zodiac signs we get for the King of Pentacles or just in general information that we need. Okay. We have Scorpio. Sagittarius and Gemini. Okay, so those are all signs, possibilities, rising moon. Um, and now I'm going to pull some letters for you. Let's get some more additional details about this person. Okay, a P just fell. So I'm going to put that one out. Okay, we have D, G, H, I, G, D, N, O, M, S, M, M, R, F, E, L, and T. Okay, well, I see Tom for sure. Um, you can, Thomas, you can take a moment, um, see what you come up with. There's lots to work with here today. And now I'm going to pull you some charms. So you might want to turn the volume down if the sound is too much. It is pretty loud. Some of you love it, some of you hate it. Okay, we got to get everybody up here. Number three. Get that 
off there. Um, ooh, lots of hearts. Look at these two big open hearts, you guys. You both got. I love this. This is about being really open, being generous, again, with that Six of Pentacles energy, but you both being generous with one another and being big, open hearted, okay? Um, oh, I love that. And when I get two like that, I think Twin Flame, Soulmate, you guys are so compatible. Um, and look at this one too, never wanting to be apart. And you got this heart, you got tons of hearts, you guys, to so romantic. Um, the puffy heart is so sweet. Um, this is about being really honest, being true to your, being yourself. Don't like pretend to be anyone else. This person is very honest. It was backwards. So it's like, they're not wearing a mask. Um, you have the pineapple, which could be family. It could just be you love pineapples. So <laughs> we, you know, I love pineapple. Could be Hawaii. Um, Oh, you have the owl. I love the owl. Being smart, wise, somebody who's really considerate. Um, can be Capricorn energy as well, which is that pentacle energy. Um, you got the Aphrodite love shell, which I love. More romance. Oh my God, another heart. Look at all these hearts, you guys. One, two, three, four, five, six hearts. Um, that's got to be a record. Um, another Aphrodite love shell. So you got two love shells. Um, ooh, and you got the palm trees. That could be California, Hawaii, um, the Caribbean, Florida, but also just being flexible for some of you. There's the anchor. That can be the beach, water, sailing, um, but also an anchor tattoo. Also wanting to anchor to one another. Um, beautiful feather, which many people get as a symbol and sign from God. And... The coffee pot, pot, which I like to say is the teapot, um, which can be a coffee or tea shop, meeting at a coffee or tea shop. Um, those are your messages today about your beautiful King of Pentacles, you guys. Um, I hope this helped, and please be sure to click subscribe if you haven't yet, and don't forget to click the like button as well. That really, really helps me, and once you subscribe, write your love question below, because I do one free reading every month for one subscriber. Okay, guys, I've got lots of great content coming up for you this week, so stay tuned. Keep watching. I'm sending you so much love. I'll talk to you guys soon. Bye. Number four, you picked the beautiful King of Swords, which is the black heart. There he is. Um, and the King of Swords is generally an air sign, male energy, which would be Libra, Aquarius, Gemini. Um, and it's usually someone who is really, really to the point. Somebody who uses their head um, rather than their heart. Like somebody who's really, really practical um, and somebody who like makes their decisions very rationally. Um, and they're usually a really great communicator, somebody who can really talk, somebody who can write, somebody who like could be in sales, they could be an actor, they could be, um, you know, someone who uses communication skills for their job and for their life. Um, somebody who has a lot of friends, somebody who really thinks about the community and the group. Um, but those are some of the characteristics. Okay, so now we're going to look at you and them. First, we'll start with you. You've got the Justice card and the Queen of Cups and the Moon. Okay, and for the King of Swords, we have the Wheel of Fortune, the Ten of Swords reversed. Okay, I like to see that reversed and the beautiful Three of Wands. Okay, great. So um, let's start with you. So what I see with you is somebody who um, is really trying to balance out um, their emotional life. And um, I, with the Justice card starting, it, you could be a Libra. That's a very strong Libra signature. Um, but also somebody who's just really fair. Um, could also be that you recently went through something, a court um, case, a divorce, or something where um, the law was involved um, and the Justice has the scales, which is the Libra sign right there. Um, but this is really somebody who is fair who really f cares about what's right and wrong um, and who also is very emotionally connected and very nurturing with the Queen of Cups. I see you as a very nurturing person. So it's like you balance you balance out the head and the heart, okay? And with the moon reversed, you know, I feel like 
right now you're having a trouble maybe um, trusting your intuition you're having trouble trusting um, your love you know your love radar or your like your love judgment um, because you're you're feeling like maybe you were taken advantage of or maybe um, you've been too kind or too good in the past that's what's coming through for me um, what I see about this king of swords coming in is that this person has been through it okay whenever we have the ten of swords it's like oh my gosh something is very over he's like way past this relationship stabbed in the back like really bad energy but it's done it's like you've this person is completely over it they're having a big change in fortune something major is happening a life change um, a change in direction um, maybe moving to a new location getting a new job i do see with the three of wands that this person isn't close by that they are farther away and maybe moving to ooh, sorry um i knocked the camera moving towards you um but it's like they have a plan and they've been through a lot and they're about to take a new course. They're going to take a new path. OK, um, let's get more info about this person. Um, but I feel like this person is going to really help you um, trust yourself more and trust your, you know, get back to that person that you were. Because I feel like you did have great instincts. You're, you're the queen of cups and you're the justice card. So you had great instincts. They were just rattled a little bit. Um, and this person is going to like open your world up and say, you know what? I know who you are. I see who you are and going to help you get really clear. Okay. And help you get back to that strength position that you used to be in but that you will be again okay and that's they may even take you on a trip or take you um on an adventure okay that's coming through too let's see how does this person feel when they meet you let's get some emotional info about the king of swords movement oh my god beautiful with the three of wands you've got the movement card yeah this person is either moving towards you or wants to take you and move with you okay like maybe even take you on um a trip overseas or um take you on like i said on an adventure and for you oh you got sweetness i love it you're bringing such sweetness to this relationship that's that beautiful queen of cups energy um this person just makes you feel like you can show your true self that's what i said you're going to begin to trust yourself again and your emotions um and trust this person this person's going to help you feel that way the king of swords is going to really help you get back to that person you are and you're going to really let your guard down and it's like you guys are going to have so much fun like this just feels like the green and pink together are both real love colors um you know the heart chakra and romance colors that's look you know you can see i have all the pink and green stones here um so this is tr really a very very like romantic um sweet loving relationship okay now an earth oracle card for you number four Ooh, new moon promise. I love it. And vision quest. You know what? That's exactly what I was feeling like with that three of wands. Some sort of like could take, you could take a big trip. Um, but like that vision quest, like, oh, I've got this, I'm going to, you know, I've got some dream that I want to do or going to visit like a really sacred place, like a temple or something like that. Um, but the, yeah, this is such a beautiful beginning. And I would look to new moons as a time when you guys could come together. Okay. But with that desert vision quest, I'm getting like that Midwest. I mean, that desert Southwest, that um, Arizona, New Mexico, um, that kind of feel. Um, Native American, like there's just like someone who's connected, um, you know, who does that kind of work um, and who has some sort of dream that they want to take you on and with you. They want you to be with them on this vision quest. Okay, what does Aphrodite say? These are my cards, the Aphrodite Love Oracle. They are for sale. The link is below. Ooh, Venus, Aphrodite's planet, love and friendship, perfection, star, dreamy. The number five is big with Venus, you guys. Wishes are coming true. Um, 
Okay, so five is a big number for you. This could be the month of May, um, but you know, a star has five points, the Venus star point. Um, yeah, this is really connecting. I feel like you guys are really sharing also like a Venus Mars connection in astrology, like you're strong, very strong. Um, so this is somebody who could be a friend first, or you may already know as a friend, and it's you guys are gonna really combine love and friendship. And you got chocolate. Mmm, I could go for some right now. Aphrodite's food, rich, indulgent, delicious fantasy, number 26. Your love life is getting an upgrade. I love this, you guys. Um, yeah, with this person's Wheel of Fortune chaining, here's what just came in. Um, this person could win like a lotto or win some sort of big fortune and want to take this big trip and you are going to be part of it. They're going to, something's going to happen with them. Um, and it's going to really upgrade your life either financially, materially, but also spiritually could be, like I said, with that vision quest or going to a spiritual place you've always wanted to visit. Um, yeah. Ooh, very exciting, you guys. Okay, let's pull a romance angel for you. See what the romance angels have to say about this relationship between you and the King of Swords. This one. Let go of control issues. Allow this situation to unfold naturally. Oh my God, how, you know, that goes along with that friendship vibe I'm feeling. Like maybe you're like, hey, wait a minute, why is it moving into more, you know? And maybe you're getting a little paranoid with the moon reversed and you're like, I don't know, does he like me? I can't really tell. So there's your message. Just allow it to happen, okay? Let it go because um, it will. And it's just like one of those things that the more you push, the less likely it is to happen. Okay, oh, that one wanted to come out. Um, pride, I love myself and I see myself in everyone. Wow, beautiful. Um, and I guess we'll just go ahead. Trust, I accept that my inner voice will always guide me correctly. Um, that's beautiful because you did have that moon reversed in your cards, um, which is, I said you needed to get back to trusting yourself and your, um, you know, the choices that you're making with love. Because I think that for some of you, you're not trusting um, and you, you know, you're getting a message here to accept that you'll always be guided correctly. You know, you got to trust. You have to trust. Um, and this King of Swords has a lot of pride, um, but because they work really hard because they know that that you should have pride in yourself and i think that that's part of that relationship is like you getting your strength back and you you believing in yourself as much as you believe in others okay so i do feel like you really help others and you really believe in others and you have to kind of put some of that back in yourself you're feeling like a libra to me right now because i can relate i'm a libra and i do that a lot we have to remind ourselves you know Okay, now let's get an animal spirit for each of you. That one seems to want to come out. Ooh, electric eel spirit. <laughs> Bring your ideas to life. Number 24, this is for the king of swords. I am, look at this. I'm loving how this kind of looks like his sword and also that bird. And we do have the dark black color. Um, and I'm getting that really smart, that this person is really creative, that wheel of fortune's about to turn. This person's really got, could even be like an inventor or someone who does something really creative with apps. Um, but that's more of that air sign energy and um, 24. And you've got nothing is wasted, vulture spirit number 63. So that's a message for you to know that all of your work, all your hard work, all the things that you've been giving away or doing for others is going to pay off, okay? Nothing that you've done. I know sometimes it's hard and I feel like you need this message. Sometimes um, we feel like, you know, God, what a waste. And it's like, no, nothing's a waste, okay? Because it's all leading you to where you're meant to be. Um, and once we accept that, that's when life gets really good. You know, once we know that, hey, it's all happening, you know, I'm kind of along for the ride. Sometimes we can't push things. Um, sometimes we just have to go with it. Okay. So, hmm. How about some more zodiac signs? Yes. Let's do that first. And then I'll get you some channeled messages about this person. Some letters. Okay, we have Leo. There's that pride. 
Okay. We have Aquarius. There's air sign energy. And Aries. Okay, so those are some signs that you might be working with here. Um, and now let's get some channeled info about this person. Number four. We have hazel eyes. Now, there's a lot of controversy about hazel eyes. Is it blue-green? Is it brown-green? So, you write below what you think. We'll take a little mini poll in the comment section. Because <laughs> when I think of hazel eyes, I think of um, green with like a little, little bit of brown, a little kind of light caramely color. But a lot of people say blue-green. So, right below, I just am curious where we come out on that. Okay, dark brown. Hair. And now let's get a soul-to-soul -soul message. What does this person want to say to you, number four? What do they want to say? I miss you. Oh. So if you guys are apart, you've met this person already, and you're apart and separated, that's the soul message. If you haven't met yet, it just means the souls miss one another. Oh, this person's hurt. Wow. I wonder what happened here. Let's pull one more. I'm working really hard. Okay, so this person's really working hard on some issues that they need to clear before they can be with you. Um, and they just want you to know that. Let's get some letters, you guys. And then I'm gonna do charm. So if you wanna turn your volume down, now might be a good time. Okay, we have the letter C, B, K, D, C, A, I, M, and P. Okay, so you can take a moment, pause the video, um, see if this could be one initial, your initial, a place, um, something important to you about this king of swords and your relationship okay guys so now it's time for charms Ooh, we got the, look what we got you guys we got the sword for the king of swords i love it total confirmation there's that king of swords that using their mind really good with their words um very sharp air sign energy okay cool now what do we have over here? We have Capricorn energy. Um, there's that money bag. I was thinking with the Wheel of Fortune that was really coming through um, that there is some sort of fortune change, not just like in general, but also money. Um, we have the starfish, which is a beautiful healing charm, a charm about, could be also the sea. You did get the electric eel. There could be a beach connection or um, you know a vacation connection. You got, you are my sunshine. This person really, really feels um, that you really make them very happy. Oh, there's this beautiful charm with all kinds of words, kind, free, true, peace, brave, strong, happy, thankful. Um, you also got the play it safe, which is interesting because I feel like with that moon reverse, you've been feeling confused maybe about um, love in general and the message you also got let go of the control issues and let things unfold. Um, and I think playing it safe is part of that. Um, and you got the spider's web, somebody who's very protective, um, somebody who works hard, who um, might be into building, might be doing some sort of work. Um, this is always, to me, someone who does like intricate work or challenging work or someone who really uses their brain. Um, so those are all of your messages about your beautiful King of Swords. I hope this helped you guys. Um, please be sure to click subscribe if you haven't yet. Um, that really, really helps. And click like because, wow, that helps so much. Um, and once you subscribe, write your love questions below. Don't forget, answer my question. Hazel eyes, where do you stand? <laughs> um, and I have lots of good stuff coming up. Don't forget um, to enter the giveaway. I do the free mini reading every month for one subscriber and congratulations again to Vicki who won last month. Um, I'm sending you guys so much love and I'll talk to you soon. Bye guys.